Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about arithmetic series. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's define first what is arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. So if you're, if you're adding the arithmetic sequence, therefore you're referring to arithmetic series. Now we do have two formulas in solving for the sum. First is we have this S sub N. Once again, this is the sum of the sequence you're looking for. N is the number of terms, bracket A sub 1 plus A sub N. So A sub N is the last term. A sub 1 will be the first term divided by 2. So once again, this first formula class is we will be using this one if we have the value of our last term. Now, if we don't have the value of our last, ter of our last term, we will be using the second formula. So S sub N equals N is the number of terms divided by 2 bracket 2 times the first term plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference then bracket so let me repeat it back we will be using this formula if we have our last term if we don't have if we don't have our last term we will be using this second formula all right before we answer we answer number one our next video class it's quite complicated we have problem solving find the sum of each of the following in number one so we have integers from 1 to 50 so we're looking for the sum. Number two, add integers from 1 to 100. Number three, even integers between 1 to 101. Number four, first 25 terms of the arithmetic sequence. So we have 4, 9, 14, 19, 24. And we have number five, multiples of three from 15 to 45. And number six, numbers between 1 and 81, which are divisible by 4. So this is quite complicated, but do not be worried. We will be answering this one. And I will just put the link in the description down below on how to answer these questions. Okay? So feel free to see the link in the description down below, class. Alright, so let's answer number one. Find the sum of the first 30 counting numbers. Of course, we will need to write the numbers. So first 30 counting numbers, so we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, so so on plus so we have plus 29 and then plus 30 right so we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 i will just put this one class so this will be so on up to 29 and 30 all right so our last number is 30 so check what will be our given so we have do we have the first term yes we have the first term our first term is number 1. So, first term is the first first number. So, that would be 1. Do we have our last term? Yep, we do have our last term because you are told to find the sum of the first 30 counting numbers. So, our last term will be 30. So, a sub n will be 30. Do we have n? n class is the number of terms. Yes, we have n. Since we are looking for the first 30 counting numbers, so therefore we have 30 terms and our n is 30. So if we have the first term, we have the last term, and we have n, so therefore we can use this formula. Alright, so use this formula, so that would be S sub n, or the sum. You're looking for the sum of the 30, 30 terms, so S sub 30 equals n is the number of terms, that would be 30. Then you put parenthesis, it's, it's okay class, bracket or parenthesis. We will just be putting bracket. So a sub 1 is 1 plus our last term is 30. Alright, and then divide it by 2. So this will be s sub 30 equals 30 times. Right, you can use bracket or parenthesis. We will just be using bracket. So 1 plus 30, that is 31. Divide 2. Alright, next step is we can just we can cancel this out class 30. We can divide 30 by 2. Okay, we can simplify this one because if we multiply 30 times 31, that would be large numbers. So before multiplying 30 and 31, we can reduce this one. If we can reduce 30 and 2, much better. Reduce 30 and 2 before multiplying 30 times 31. That'll be the same answer class. Okay, you can multiply 30 times 31. Then afterwards, the answer for this one, multiply the numerator. Understood that 30 here as the denominator of 1. You can multiply 30 times 31. And then your answer, you divide it by 2. But this will be large numbers. So the thing that I will do, I will, I will just reduce 30 and 2. 
we can reduce 30 and 2. So 30 divided by 2, this will be 15 now. And 2 divided by 2, this is 1 now. So our numbers will be 15 times 31. So 31 times 15. Alright, so we have 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So add, so we have 5. Bring down 5, we have 6. 4, 465. So, S sub 30, the sum is 465. That would be the same answer class if you multiply 30 times 31, divide it by 2. Alright, so that's how you answer number 1 class. Very easy, right? If you have the first term, if you have the last term, and of course you have the n, the number of terms, you can just simply use this formula and you will get the answer. If you multiply 30 and 31, we divide it by 2, I think you will get the same answer. Of course, it will be the same. So 30 times 31, let's try that. 30 times 31. So 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 3 is 9. So 930. Okay, sorry. 900. You plus 930. And then we divide it by 2. Let's try 930. If we divide it by 2. So 30 times 31 is 930. Divide it by 2. So this is 4, 8, minus 1, bring down 3. 13 divided by 2 is... 13 divided by 2 is 7. Ah, no, sorry, 6. Then this will be 12, right? So this will be 12. Then subtract. 13 minus 12 is 1. Bring down 0. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. You will get the same answer because 465. Alright, so it is better, okay, so it is better class if you just simply reduce the numbers from the, this 30 by 2, if we can reduce, so that the numbers will be easy for you to multiply. Alright, so that will be the answer for number 1. Let's try number 2. So number 2, find the sum of the first 30 terms of the arithmetic sequence given 2, 6, 10, 14, 18 and so on. So we, we are told to find the sum of this given sequence. So do we have the last term? Nope. We don't have the 30th term. We don't have the last term. But we have the first term, right? The first term. So our first term is... What would be, the, what would be our first term? Class? That's correct. That's number 2. And what would be our... We don't have the last term. Do we have the n? n plus is the number of terms. Find the sum of the first 30 terms. So since we are looking for the sum of 30 terms, so the number of terms, our n is 30. Alright, so do we have, so we have the first n is the number of terms. We have the first term. Now what else? We have n and d. So d is the common difference. Once again, we will be using this formula. So we will be using the second formula since we don't have the value of our last term, okay? The 30th term is not given. D is the common difference. How will you get the common difference? Simply subtract the second term minus the first term. So example 2, 6, 10, 14, and 18. So to get the common difference, so that would be 6 minus 2 is 4. 10 minus 6 is 4. 14 minus 10 is 4. And 18 minus 14 is 4. Therefore, the common difference is 4. Alright, since we have the value of n, the first term and the common difference, we, we will be now using this formula. So we have s sub n or s sub 30 since we're looking for the sum of the 30th term or the 30 numbers. So s sub 30, we're looking for the sum of the first 30 terms. So s sub 30, that would be n is the number of terms, that would be 30 divided by 2. Then 2 times the first term is 2. 2 times 2 plus, so quantity, we have n is the number of terms. We have 30 minus 1. And the common difference is 4 times 4 in bracket. So this will be s sub 30 equals 30 divided by 2 class. That would be 15. Alright, how about this one inside? 2 times 2 is 4. 
plus 30 minus 1. So, that would be 29 times 4. So, we cannot add 4 and 29. Follow PEMDAS. We, multiplication comes first before addition. So, we need to multiply this one first. So, copy. Simply copy. S of 30 equals 15. 4 plus 29 plus... With 29 times 4. So, 29 times 4... So, this will be 4 times 9 is 36. 6 carry 3. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3. That would be 11. So, 116. 116. So, 4 plus 116. So, this will be S sub 30 equals 15 times 4. 4 plus 116. That would be 120. And then, we multiply it by 15. And that's our answer. So, let's multiply 120. 120 times 15. Alright, so 120 times 15. So we have 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. So our final answer, we add this one. So let's add. So 1... This is 8, 0, 0. Bring down 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 2 is 8. And then bring down 1. So, 1,800. S sub 30. So, the sum of the 30 terms of this given sequence, that would be 1,800. Alright, so that's it plus. That's how you find the sum. Okay, the sum of the arithmetic series. So, for the next video class... Once again, do not forget, I will just put the link in the description down below on how to answer this, this problem solving, okay? Quite complicated samples, but we will be answering this one. Alright, now, by the way, before we end, you try to answer this one class. Just try, find the sum of integers from 1 to 50. So, okay, so find the sum of integers from 1 to 50. You put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand what I had discussed a while ago. So feel free to answer this one class. So once again, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe, you share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help them. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!